Hi, I'm Ben from Teleport, and today I'll be walking through how you can use Okta to log into Teleport. By using Okta, you have a central identity provider that can provide access to your applications, databases, and Kubernetes clusters using the role-based access control groups that you have in your identity provider. There's a few things you need to do to set up. Um, you need an Okta account. I've just created a brand new Okta account to sign up on the 30-day trial. And uh, that's about it. Okay, let's dive in. Oh, we also need the commercial edition of Teleport. So we're going to enable SAML authentication. We're going to do this afterwards. Let's first configure Okta. So we're going to come in here and um, just create a new application. It's a SAML2 and it's a web. This is going to be called Teleport. You can add a logo. This will make it more easy to identify later, but we're going to skip this for now. And then now we're going to configure the SAML. So the single sign-on URL. This is going to be the uh, this URL here. And so in my case, I have my cluster running on uh, 610 SSO. So let me update this. So and then you also add the port. Audience uh, URI. This is going to get you all of your um, audience information. It's the same thing. It's um, Web API SAML ACS. The default relay state, leave this empty. Um, and next thing we need to do is name ID, we pick email. Application username is the one that's going to show up in Teleport. I think we recommend also using Okta username. And create an update. OK, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to um, username attributes. Let's configure this to username. And name format is unspecified. And then the value is going to be user login. And next up, we're going to add a group attribute. This is going to link Okta groups to our groups in Teleport. And so the group, we just select groups, and then the regex is a dot and then a star. It's a dot and a star. So groups start with the dot star. Okay, everything is now set up. We can go next. And then are you a customer or partner? I am just adding an internal app. Give this information. And now we have the setup instructions, and then we have information on um, what the conditions and what you can do with the Okta integration. Okay, so we also need to create the groups in Okta. So let's come back here into my directory. I just have myself right now. Let's create a couple of groups. And for this setup, we have two groups, one called Okta Dev. I'm going to create another group off to admin. So then if I come in here, then that thing we need to do is also just add myself to this group. To actually myself to um, both groups. And then this is how you would manage, you know, the rest of your team to use Teleport. Okay, so we've added the groups. And then next up, we need to um, download the information. So let's go back to Okta. We have the one application. And the information is on single sign on, a few setup instructions. And we can also use, we can just download this or we can just copy and paste this. So let's go to our next step. So we're going to create the connector. Let's put this into a, a scratch pad. So. Let's just walk through this. So we're going to create a new SAML connector. We're going to call this uh, Okta. 
We're going to display it as Octo, so we'll say login with Octo. This is going to be the cluster URL that we've already predefined, which will be, uh, in my case, and then port 443. We have the two groups. I'm going to change, we have an admin role, and I'm going to actually change this to access, which is a two built in roles that we have. I should make this editor and access. And then lastly, we have this, which is kind of interesting. It's a XML document in YAML. Um, but this is the content of this information here. So copy this. And there's a few things. See, there's a little pipe here. We just copy this, paste it. And then another important thing is uh, just to uh, indent everything. Let me just highlight all of this and let's make sure the indentation is correct. So two tabs and then this should be fine. Okay. So now I'm going to log into my um, teleport host here and create octa.yaml. Same file that we were just working with. And then we use tcuddle, which is our administrative tool. And so just before we go too deep, you can see here I have the teleport cluster. You can't log in yet with anything. And so we're going to now um, use tcuddle to create this uh, Octo provider. And it is create, and then it's octo.yaml, and it says octo has been created. So if we reload the cluster, you can now see that we have a sign in with Teleport using Octo. So it says you can't access because you're not assigned this app in Octo. So this should be an easy fix. We just got to check the assignments and we don't have any people or groups. So we need to come back in here and assign uh, the two groups that we had, uh, Octo Admin and Octo Dev. Now let's go back. Sign in again, and it says unable to process callback. So um, let's start Teleport in a debug mode and try and figure out what's happening. So we're starting Teleport now with dash D to start our debug logs and to see what's happening. Um, it's a very helpful tool when you're just getting started. We're trying to debug what's happening. So. Try and log in again. And you can see that we had a SAML error, unable to match map attributes to role for the connector octa. So let's just review our connector again. Okay, so I found the issue. Um, one of the issues is <clears throat> my groups aren't getting populated because I didn't change this filter from uh, starts with to matches regex, and then this will be able to obtain the groups. So let's just update this, save it, finish. Let's go back. And now we're logged in um, using Octa. So that finishes the end of how to set up, um, you know, as I mentioned here, we're gonna make sure that matches regex, but that finishes how to connect Octa to Teleport. Um, there's a few other things you might wanna look in here. So you can also use external username and traits. So you might want to do such things as only allow logins if they have that login in their Octa group. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you.